Well, good morning, my teleporters. This is Marie with Universal Tea. How are you guys doing? Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of my subs. Thank you so much for subbing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate, appreciate the love that you all have given me over the time I've been here on YouTube. Just want to get that out. Thank you so much. Um, let's get into it, shall we? Um, basically, what I'm doing today is recapping a case that I did commentary on some months ago. Seems that they've captured the suspect, female suspect. Uh, this particular case, this suspect actually SHOT'd a woman in her head in Brooklyn. Um, her name, the victim name was Dahlia Johnson. She was 42 years old. And just to uh, kind of elaborate on it, the suspect actually stayed with the victim at one time and her parents' house, in her parents' house. You know, they actually helped the suspect out at one time. And this is what she does to her, you know? And so I was wondering when were they going to capture this woman? You know, I kept, you know, looking into it, researching to see if they've captured her. And today I finally found it that they have captured her out in Jacksonville, Florida. They have not released her name yet or any other details, but I'm sure they are. And I want to know who this woman is. And I want to know, you know, why did she do this? This heinous act. I want to know. Uh, let's take a look at the news story, shall we? And see, uh, kind of re recap what happened, okay? Stand by. Life was once a friend. Her family says recently the relationship went back and forth. They would argue about everything, but no one expected this. Now her mother says she not only lost a daughter, but she also lost her best friend. The grief is overwhelming, the crime unbearable. Seen on this surveillance video, a woman casually walking over to another woman and shoots her at point blank range. We are stopping the video right there. And what makes this even worse is the victim's mother tells Pix11 she knows her daughter's killer. At one point, she even took her in. Woman that did this, she was, she one of my babies too. She slept in my bed, she ate my food. The pain is too hard to bear for Delia Johnson's mother. Police say Johnson was talking with a group of friends on a stoop here in Crown Heights Wednesday night. They had just left a funeral right before she was ambushed. It's such horror with black on black on black shootings. And I'm just going to say it for what it is. It is horrible. Police are now looking for this woman as a suspect, a person Johnson's mother says her family once trusted and wants to ask the suspect one question. I just want to know why, what could she have done to you that you couldn't come and knock on my door? You know where I live and tell me and I would have straightened it out for both of y'all. So as you can see, she blatantly just walked up on top uh, on this lady and just S-H-O-T'd her in her head. You know, this lady was oblivious to what was going on in her surroundings. She didn't know that this lady was even approaching her. She did it in front of quite a few people. And I stated that in my commentary that you were going to be, she was going to be caught because too many people witnessed this. You know, she was very bold. And I'm wondering, you know, what is it that was so bad for you to do this to her? You know, couldn't you have just fought it out and or argued it out and been done with it? No, you had to go ahead and help this woman meet her demise. This lady had a 17-year-old child at the time that was getting ready to finish high school, and you took her life. You know, I want to know why. You know, if, after you stayed with the victim in her house, you know? See, you know, sometimes, you you know, you try to help people out, but it's like, it's always got to be a bad apple in a bunch sometimes, guys. You know, and I've done that before. I've had someone stay with me, but come to find out she was on D-R-U-G-S. And I, and stuff started coming up missing. So I had to get her out of my house. You know, I tried to help her out and that's what happened. I was like, no, you have to go, you know? And in this case, this lady actually S O S H O T this woman. That is sad. I want to know why. And so hopefully the, uh, the cops can find out why she did this. I'm sure they're interrogating her. They want to know why she did this. And we want to know why, of course. Right. Um, once I get the additional details, guys, I will bring it to you, straight to you. 
once I get the additional details. But I wanted to come back on here and talk to you guys about this because, you know, like I said, she, she lived with this victim. This is craziness. You know how the world is. Like people just, you know, it's like the Wild Wild West, as I said before. It's like the Wild Wild West. Everybody is packing a G-U-N. So guys, be careful of your surroundings. I keep telling you guys that. Be careful of your surroundings. This lady did not see her coming, you know? And, and they had just left another funeral. That's interesting. They just left another funeral. And it basically somebody lured her to this location so this woman could attack her. You know, and I'm like, wow, that is very interesting. You know, I want to know why she did this. So please, guys, um, like the video, subscribe, um, leave comments, leave comments so we can know and share the video so people can know that she has been captured because I'm sure other people want to know this. They've seen the video and they want to know uh, what happened if they've ca captured the suspect yet. Okay. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video, okay? Thank you so much. Continue to like and subscribe, support the channel if you can. Otherwise, I'm out.